Ah, it's you. Even so... Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Got it. And then... Got it? Let's 
not. All right, then. The truth is... Gauntlet Runner halts at a sandy hollow that suddenly arises from the sea. The towering seawall. It is not an island or a reef, but a mass of sand expanding below sea level. There is no sign of a water flow. There are many places in Oceana where the laws of nature fail, but here it is especially evident. The surface drops as though it were gouged out. Still, Best not to be distracted by the spectacular. Monsters roam the deep, and tales of people being dragged below are not uncommon. as well. I see. 
Let's go. All right. As the water sparkling in the setting sun begins to lose the light shimmer, the gauntlet runner reaches the calm surface of the reef. Yet the day draws to an end, and all are left to wonder how to spend the evening hours. What terrible rain. It will be a storm soon enough. Can this vessel withstand it? Let's do it better than me, at least. Suppose we do owe Forden, if only because he handled that sea monster. Closure, closure, etc. Did we hit a rock out there or something? Back in a mo, I'll go sneak a look outside. Those fool brothers are still abed, even in this tempest. Bloody Parabus. Almost makes one envy them. Right, I heard. You aren't too fond of the Parapus. They both had horrible upbringings, those two. But they really do have kind hearts behind the glares. They've risked their lives for mine countless times. <laughs> one time, I asked what I could do to repay them, and they came over all red-faced. We'd like to hear you sing, Lady Juna. Your voice is awful pretty, Lady Juna. Is this a joke to you? You think an outcast Ugeef is in no position to speak ill of the Paripus? What? No, I didn't mean... <sighs> Bloody hell, how does anyone sleep on this old bucket? You feel that shaking earlier? Huh? Could cut the air in here with a knife. What were you two on about? Everyone's life stories, I suppose. Indeed. Talking about how I dislike the Paripus. You and the rest of the world. Or do you think you're special? We don't have to keep dancing around it, do we, Del? Why can't we be straight with them? Just come out with it, yeah? Tell them you still ain't sure that stuff with Glodel was on the level. <sighs> if even we're suspicious, there's no way Lord Luis hasn't worked it out already. Not that it matters to me, anyway. Still, I had to make sure, see for myself whether Lady Juna is on our side or not. Come on, you two. Ah! Something's out there! Look outside! It's a monster! A great briny beast! Everyone to the deck, quick! What's happening? What now? All right.
All right. to be you helping those in need or itself. Now, hurry! You are ice You realize this changes nothing. We're still... Charge straight at it. We've got the arms. We'll clear them out of the way. <laughs> got it. If we don't kill the thing, we're all sunk. Don't get used to it. more of the bastard's legs, stick to the body, and take out what limbs you can. I don't know about you, but I'm not dying today. Let's get this over with. If this keeps up, the runner's wrecked. Can we get those giant legs off us? No, now we strike. I'm assassin. I've got behold this power. Maybe, come on, help me out. Fall. Great job, Juna. The freedom of a wanderer. Magic seeker. Mess. All power of kings! Mustn't settle for the- Witness our secret technique! I must be sure. Now accept your fate! Some Georgia no arts! I will 
you fight okay? Magic Seeker! You look like you're about to drop! With healing power! Thank you. Much thanks. I'm obliged. Is everyone all right? Come! Not that join with me! I'll lend a hand myself. You think yourself equal to a UG? <laughs> A boon. I'm obliged. I stand ready with blade in hand. If you would, Hulkenberg got them right in the Be weak spot. The <laughs> You've destroyed it. Now I'll to the rest. I'll give you the performance of a lifetime. Behold this power. Raging fire. I will fight with. Let's go. Still here? By the sworn oaks of night. Comrades, lend me your strength. Oh, force of lightning! Don't underestimate me. I shall strive to be ah! marvelous. I feel stronger already. We overcame it somehow. I can't believe this. There are still monsters out here. Gordon lied. He, he lied to everybody. Either he lied, or he didn't know. Maybe the humans are spreading faster than anyone expected. Oh, first time we've seen you lot really cut loose. That sure was magic, even with no igniters. Guess that's the kind of power that kills humans. And you can do it too, Lady Juna. Well, I picked it up from him. You know I've a knack for improvising, love. But we'd never have gotten through this without you two helping us. Thank you. Eh. Uh, um. Of course, my lady. You too, Fidelio. Don't mention it. Wouldn't have survived otherwise. Wait, something's amiss. I still hear water flowing, but it's coming from inside the runner. Blast! We're dipping awfully low. Getting a bit soggy in here, chums. Hold on, we're sinking. You've got to be kidding. Bail the water. You two, help us. What? You can't just order us... Oh, this bloody rust bucket. Time marches on. 
and the age of a new king draws nearer. As the clear surface gives way to the glassy ink of darkness, the gauntlet runner reaches a remote island. The party gets a good night's rest, grateful for the still land that does not sway them at its winds.
Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Luis has sent an emissary to Virga Island. As reported by a crier, it's the elder boy who brought Joanna to the judging. Hmm. So he stands with Luis then. No doubt he seeks Dracodius. A gambit to steal the public's gaze, perhaps. Taking a prize from the only land beyond the church's reach. <laughs> Laughable. The reason we leave those barbarians alone is that we've nothing to gain from them. Mm. Your eminence? Mm, th th merely a passing thought. Let him chase the lance. It changes nothing. With the dawn of Saints' Day, your eminence's authority will be unshakable as the mountains. As long as we tell the public that these divine relics truly originated in Sanctism, yes, that should do. The candidates gathered at the Saints' Day Festival will be under the protection of the King's magic. Some of them may use that as a shield to sow violence and discord. I am aware, Your Eminence. Please, leave everything to your humble servant. Oh ho! Narrowly escaping the threat of the sea monster, the party rides the currents of the inland sea to their destination, Virga Island. Virga is a word given to the island by the mainland, meaning uncivilized. But its inhabitants give this name no purchase. Put another way, we are trespassers from a country that has unilaterally regarded the islanders as heretics. To forget this is to invite pointless conflict. As though it knows it is unwelcome, the gauntlet runner glides silently onto the island's less populated rear shore. It's enough to cook a man alive. Ugh. All my air fur is stuck together. Do we really have to go this way? There is a beautiful beach just over there. Chin up now, milady. Easy to get a good backstab when you're coming up behind them, see? There will be no stabbing, back or otherwise. Honestly. It's at least true that coming at them head on would only alarm them. First, we need to find out where this lance is. You can bet the runner won't be spotted here, eh? Got the wide ocean on all sides. The old girl's not exactly unscathed from the beastie's clutches, so I'll stay back for a spot of repairs. Good luck on the lance hut, what? Who's there? Are you from the outside? What's wrong? I thought I heard a voice. A voice? Whose? All that salt air gets your head. Our chances out here already aren't looking too good. So, how do we find this lance? Ideally, we'd blend in with the locals, gather information. But if they really are all Mustari, that might be a bit tricky. Let's see. To start with, we could try staying hidden and observing the village from afar. Sounds like a right hassle. How many days would you have us playing hide and seek? Fair point. How long can we actually stay on this island? Well... Given the deadline for arriving in Altabri, it would be best to get the lance and leave by September the 5th. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Let's go. Hey, does this place look familiar to you? We may be a bit lost. Uh. You're kidding. We can't afford to get lost on some godforsaken island. This is a disaster. Oh, I'm sweating through my outfit. And these weird bugs. I've had enough. What I give for the snack and a cold tub to dump me head in. Need you voice every little complaint. 
you are not the only ones enduring this trek. Quiet a moment. Running water nearby. Sounds like an open space. Could be a natural spring of some kind. What? Really? Let's head that way. Phew. I suppose we might as well if we're lost. Drinkable. Much clearer than the capital's water, too. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I could use a dip to get the salt Hold off on. me. <laughs> Who are you? Can you hear me? Then surely you must be a messenger of the Dragon God. Is something in it? I'm imagining things. Could it be a villager? You must be the... Priestess! Hmm? Hey, Del! Let's go! Mainlanders! You're not of this island! Wait, listen! Seize them! Behave yourselves. Now, you. You're a candidate for the throne, are you not? Hmm. You had to steal Dracodios, no doubt. And not content with that, you befouled the priestess's cleansing pool. We need hear nothing further. You shall all be executed. Fastest trial I've had. Calm down. First off, you can't kill a candidate. Have you not heard of the king's magic? You beg for your life in vain, wretch. Hail. I'm told the priestess is ready. Accept your fate. You're not getting out either way. What do we do now? It seems the brothers have fled. Perhaps they've gone to report to Nerus. Hmm. I doubt it. Those thugs are here for the Lance alone. They care nothing for us. We can work with that. Can't return without the Lance anyway. But I'd rather see if we can break ourselves out, instead of counting on them to save us. By the way, anyone else find it strange that they recognized a candidate at a glance? I wasn't expecting news to travel this far. Probably my fault, I'm afraid. They had a lot of questions, and they weren't, uh, gentle about asking. Well, fancy meeting you here. You're that Sanctus Crier. Uh, I was hoping the word of the Crown Theocracy might be worth something here. Turns out, they prefer chains, the questions. But why are you here? Why else? I heard some helpless, boneheaded twit of a candidate cross the waters to Virga Island, so I naturally had to follow. I'd thought stowing away on that Mastari candidate ship might get me safely on the island, and, well... And now who's the helpless twit? This is ridiculous! Why would a crier go to such lengths anyway? Seemed as good an opportunity as any. I wanted a peek behind the Sanctus Curtain, see what the truth really is. For now, we may as well be patient. You'll have your opening soon enough. The people here... Well, you'll find they aren't as monolithic as they'd like. Have you heard? The Sanctus Church has ordered its adherents to seize all divine relics. Those zealots go too far. Surely this must be the reason for the Dragon God's wrath. Don't be alarmed, everyone. Please remain calm. Master Adeni, there are trespassers upon our island, from ships other than the trade vessels. But we have already captured them. Reportedly, one is a candidate, and one is a crier from the Sanctus Church. They seek Dracodios, the lance of the Dragon God. Until now, the Church has hesitated to intrude in our homeland. We can only assume they are making their move. I knew it. They think they're untouchable. No offense is beneath them. 
That damned Borden. He's not just after our relics. He would silence us forever. Master Adeni, put them to death! Let us see justice served! Wait. Our captives have done nothing to hurt any of the islanders. Why do you hesitate? If they would pervert our dearest beliefs, then they deserve only to be sacrificed. Our livestock are all maddened by disease. Our seas are infested with grotesque horrors. And now, even our fields lie dead and fallow. The dragon god must be appeased, else we shall never survive his wrath. It has been our way since time immemorial. When disaster strikes, we offer a sacrifice to the dragon god that he might ease our woes. It is the most basic of our teachings. Everyone, calm down. All this talk of justice, of sacrifice. Master Adeni, would you see us repeat the tragedy of the past? With all respect, you abandoned your chase for the throne. You returned to your rightful home. Surely you have accepted that our traditions are the only way. Because of your indecision, because you faulted in your faith to the Dragon God, your father and mother both, I will have silence. <sighs> Master Adeni, please, the sacrifice. We cannot simply suffer in silence. My brother, do not fear. I have just purified myself for the spring. I'm ready to serve as our people's sacrifice. Yufa. I am a priestess. I have known from birth that my life's greatest impact would be as an offering to the Dragon God. Indeed, it brings me great pride. I can serve my village in a way the priestesses in times of peace could not. If our island might be saved, I will gladly give my life for it. Oh, bless you, Priestess Yufa. We will not forget your sacrifice. This will surely appease the Dragon God. You are our last hope. Priestess Yufa, our salvation, our future. Prepare the ship. I will accompany her to the altar in the Dragon Temple, where Dracodios rests. You catch that? The Dragon Temple? Sounds like that's where we'll find our lads. I did a bit of reading on Virga Island once. Army reports say it's surrounded by an archipelago, otherwise uninhabited. And one of them islands is nothing but a massive temple. Not another soul on them. Strange lot, these pagans. Gotta be bloody stupid to build your big important temple out where nobody can get to it. Could be. Or maybe they weren't the ones who built it. Either way, we'll need a ship. Sounds like we better hurry and bail our new crewmates out. All this stink in the square probably means less guards on duty. Ugh. Come on, Del, we can't leave them high and dry. The fair lady Juna likes them, don't she? And the fair lady's the only one we have to rescue. Awful cold, Del. Not getting attached now, are you? You knew going in they might be our traitors. Look, you want to work together, then let me do the thinking, right? I've got all this under control. Oh. Hey, Del, you're not still hurting from the sea battle, are you? I'm fine. We'll wait till nightfall. Shadowy business, all this. Lady Juna. Let's get those bindings off. Easy does it now. Calm down, you amateurs. Oh, thanks. I'd hoped you'd come back for us. We know where the lance is. Let's move. Wait, aren't you going to untie the others? We're your bodyguards, not theirs. What? Since when do you follow orders to the letter? I've already told you we can't trust these people, and now it's clear we can't even trust them to protect you. He did a fine enough job saving your life out at sea. Del! He's one of us now. Lord Luis gave him direct personal orders, and you'd still leave him to die. I promised Lord Luis I'd keep an eye on him too. If you get him killed, I'm the one who's failed. Hear, hear. Three appropriately stealthy cheers for cooperation. 
and I'd be very much obliged if some generous spirit could get me untied too. Ugh, better to let a church leech rot. You're annoying and you talk too much. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Funny thing though, I get more chatty the more distress I'm in, and I'm quite beside myself here. We could just shut him up permanently. No, Del. We don't want to leave a mess. If things get dicey, we've got some meat shields at the least, eh? Gonna need all the manpower we can get if we want that lance. Hmm. Is the lance somewhere dangerous? Well, about that. Turns out this dragon god might be a bit more real than we thought. And more bent out of shape. They're sacrificing some village lass to it. And the crowd was scared stiff besides. We can't rule out that this dragon's more than a folktale. So we're to face a dragon? Well, that's just lovely. Untie everyone this instant. Or do you fancy better chances with fewer swords? Oh, fine, I get it. Just give me a second. Oi, kid. Don't make me regret this. Nice to be back on the team. You're completely mental, you know that? Just don't drag us down. Fine, just get over here and I'll let you loose. Oh, you're going last. Considering the size of the island, there's only the one settlement. The chief's young, too, goes by Edeni or something. Edeni? Was he not the Mastari candidate we met before? I'd no idea he was this island's ruler. He and the sacrificial maiden are headed for the temple on one of the deserted islands. That's where we find the lance. Oh, and the girl marked for death is his sister. His own sister? Something about appeasing the dragon god's anger. All these islanders worship it, and they say the calamities come from its fury. Is that true? Of course not. Just don't know whether all this superstition is rooted around an actual dragon or a made-up one. Fair point. I'm curious about this Draco Dios being a divine relic myself. If it was found in that temple, then the temple's probably an ancient ruin. Might be the perfect den for a dragon. Should this creature exist, Mortal sacrifice is beyond all reason. No torment is worth taking an innocent life for. Oh, that's rich from a fallen knight. You think nobody makes sacrifices out there in the real world? Or is all that below you, eh? You ask me, I say at least these people are doing what needs to be done. Huh, fair enough. Though it would seem beyond the pale, it is not our scale of morality that measures them. Yet... <laughs> Yet I refuse to stand idly by while innocent lives are at stake. Who cares about what they do with their lives? We're here for the Lance. Got enough problems without you trying to fix theirs. <laughs> These people offer up their very lives for peace. They'd only ever told me these lands were wild and uncivilized, but it's like seeing sanctism reflected in a mirror. We'll get the spear, of course, but we won't let anyone die. That should be good enough. We've been saying it since the beginning. We help anyone in need, no exceptions. Right, my friend? Yeah, of course. That settles it. Indeed. Tis the path we've chosen. Let us withdraw to the Sea Runner first. It shall bear us across the waters to this temple island. <laughs> Go on. Give them a chance. <laughs> Please, help my sister. Wait. Please. Please help. My sister, Yufa. The temple full of Makla. Pull yourself together, man. He's barely breathing. Did he just say Magla? I wonder what happened. We need to get him to the Gauntlet Runner. No, it is too deep a wound for its capabilities. To the village, then. What, are you mad? You just broke yourselves out of that damned place. We cannot leave him to die. I don't understand you lot. No, this could work out for us. He's the island's chief. 
right? If we save his life, the whole village might come around on us. What are you talking about? We already know where the lance is. All we have to do now is take it. And how about this? I'll follow him because I'm assigned to keep an eye on him. And you have to keep an eye on me because you're my bodyguards, right? <sighs> Fine. Be my guest. But if it comes down to you or the lance, you know I'll have to take the lance. Whatever happens, I can't trust anyone but my family. And my Lord Luis. Well, Batlin, looks like you'll have to repay the favor a bit earlier than expected. Go tell Nurus what's going on. To be honest, it's possible we won't make it back. Getting a bit messy, this. Not that I mind. Consider the favor returned. The gauntlet runner's just further down, right? Right. We'll carry this man back to the village. Give me a hand. Where am I? Chief! I'm still... alive. You're in one of my spare rooms at the inn. You see, these people brought you here. Wonders never cease. It's you. But you were being hunted. How did you manage to return safely? Two of my companions acted as decoys to draw the soldiers away. That was all it took for us to sneak in. Chief, what happened? Where is your sister? We made it to the temple, but the air was thick with magla. Some of the island's beasts have turned feral. You mean... the Melancholia set in? They made short work of our guards. Yufar and I were separated. I was the only one who fled to the sea. My word! Then we need to gather more troops. If we don't act the ritual... No. Our soldiers cannot stand against those horrors. We'd only be sending more to their deaths. But... Then we can do the honors. We've our own reasons to see the lance. And such monsters do not frighten us. But there's something I need to ask you first. Assuming we find your sister, what would you have us do with her? Are we ensuring you complete the sacrificial ritual? Or are we bringing her back? <sighs> Please, bring her home. When we left for the Temple Island, I'd intended to let Yufa escape. But when I saw no fear or hesitation in her eyes, I... I faltered. That's when I realized. It's not just the fate of the island that we've placed on her shoulders. She's been trying to bear all our fears and anxieties. Her life is in your hands. Even if her sacrifice would save us, I don't care. Please, save her. From the curse we've placed on her. <laughs> Well said. Spoken like a true leader. Leave it to us. I pledge we will see her safely returned. You've no objections, I trust, Captain? Yes. Let's get her back. Right. We're not in the business of abandoning people. Right. We'll save your sister. In return, though, would you be willing to lend us Dracodios? So be it. What? That is the very symbol of our faith! If they have the strength to overcome the Temple's trials, then they could have already taken the lance for themselves. Yet still, they seek permission. I trust them. It seems like they really do believe in what they say. But... they're not like us. They're outsiders. It doesn't matter what tribe they are. They are people just like us. If the race on the mainland taught me anything, it's that. Wait, it'll take more than a day to save her, right? Not to be morbid, but will your sister survive that long? She knows those halls better than I do. If she's found a safe enough chamber, she can stay out of sight. And I made sure to bring food to the temple when we left. She could survive for even four weeks. Yufa is a priestess. She knows her life is too valuable to the ritual not to keep going. Your offenses will be pardoned. Anything you need, I'll try to provide. So please, save Yufa. Well, glad we talked our way out of being thrown back in a cell. This place is rather cozy, especially compared to a prison. To be free of the bugs is its own comfort. Wait, weren't you staying in Broilhaven? What kind of rundown hovels do you board in? 
Finally, we may come and go as we please. Even if we must bow to Luis's whim, we need not draw the same ire. I know, right? But lifting the prince's curse will only be the beginning. The public has to recognize him as the rightful king, too. Considering the road ahead, it might do to help as many people as we can while we hunt the lance. And ideally, keep the other candidates in check, too. All done with negotiations, are you? I don't know what we'd do without you. It's amazing how you can lead those guards on such a long chase and turn up none the worse for wear. Ha! <laughs> no one alive can catch a couple of parapus lads in the woods. Our job's to get the lance. I assume that hasn't changed. Then nothing else matters. Well then, let's lay out our situation. Our destination is the Dragon Temple, built on a nearby deserted island. Once there, we search the temple for the divine relic, Dracodios. And while we're in there, we'll also be looking for the village priestess, Yufa. The hell we will! I thought we made it clear we were here for the Lance. According to Edeni, the Lance's actual place in the temple is a close-guarded secret, known only to the priestess herself. Never simple, is it? We've got two problems to worry about. Firstly, by now, the temple's positively awash with melancholia. We should expect monsters, and lots of them. And secondly, there is a possibility that this dragon god of theirs is an actual living, and therefore angry, dragon. Hope we don't have a battle like that ahead of us. But we'd better make sure we don't lose if we do. And be quick about it, yeah? If you miss your deadline, Lord Luis will assume you're all traitors. That puts our deadline in... 17 days. Beyond that, we can't say if the priestess would survive. Um, your pardon? You all, uh, you're going to save Priestess Yufa. <laughs> Wouldn't have to if you hadn't sent her to die. Yes, I know. You're exactly right. But you have to understand, not everyone here wanted sacrifice. To see a girl her age going willingly to die. She's as young as my own child. It's not right. So please. We will see the girl safely home. You have our word. It's a strange irony. We came only for the lance, but even that pursuit has earned us a chance to save a life. Oddly familiar. You sought me intent on capture, and instead convinced me to join you. You have a knack for opening doors others have closed. <laughs> well, let's get some rest for tomorrow. Getting lost in the wild and captured by soldiers really takes it out of you. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Got a breath. 